everyone, it's Nadia, Justice Jonesy. Thanks for stopping by today. This is the Just Jonesy channel, yay! I'm so excited, I've been wanting to vlog for I don't even know how long. So here I am, checking one of the things off of my list for 2014, which is to finally sit down and start vlogging. Okay, so today I just wanted to keep it basic, keep it simple. I'm going to keep myself accountable in 2014, and that is by sharing what some of my goals are. One of my goals are to get published somewhere in some sort of national magazine. And I was inspired because in the January issue of Latina Magazine, December, January 2014 Latina Magazine, yours truly is quoted in there on how to help your um, preteen or tween daughter figure out appropriate clothing. And um, we did an interview and it was really great. So let's see, I am featured on what page is it? Do, 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 do. See if I was prepared, I wouldn't know what page it is. Here it is. So, fashion for the ages. As clothes for tweens, girl, tween girls become increasingly racy, here's how you can teach your impressionable daughters about the importance of dressing modestly. So, um, the article, which is written by Celia San Miguel, goes over a number of different tips for parents on helping their children. And one of the tips that I provided was um, to lead by example. Um, and it says here, quoting me, um, Mexican and Haitian mom Nadia Jones, who lives in Jacksonville, Florida, agrees that it's good to lead by example. I like to dress up and go out on the town, but I also know that my children are watching and I need to respect myself as a woman and to dress appropriately. So what do you guys think about that? I know some moms, you know, they like to dress and dress pretty racy when they're going out with, and they might be showing a little bit of cleavage or they might be wearing a short skirt and, um, you know, their daughters are watching, their sons are watching. Do you think that that sends a mixed message, an appropriate message? Let me know what your thoughts are and leave them in the comments. So here is the cover of Latina Magazine. And um, love, love, love. So going back to my goals though, what I was saying is that I want to submit some articles to be published in big name magazines like Essence, Putting it out there, ask and you shall receive. Um, Latina would be also an amazing, amazing publication to be featured in. And I was even thinking the other day when I was at the gym, Southern Living, why not? I love more than anything else cooking. Well, not more than anything else, that's a little bit extreme. But one of the things that I love to do, of course, is to cook and to entertain to decorate and you know maybe I'll do a DIY or a how to or something along those lines in Southern Living Magazine. That would be a maze balls. All right, so that's one of the things that's on my goal for 2014. Something else that I want to do is I want to travel. Not only do I want to travel, I want to travel internationally more with the kids. We do a lot of traveling already in the States because it's easy, we can drive. We're in Jacksonville, Florida, we can drive to Atlanta in four hours, we can drive to Miami in five hours, five, six hours. Um, you know, we can go to Charlotte, we can go to a lot of different places. New Orleans, seven or eight miles away. Um, but one of the things that we don't get to do because we are a family of five and traveling with a family of five is not exactly um, affordable is to travel internationally. Now in 2011, you guys may remember that I went to um, San Miguel de Allende with the kids, which is in Mexico. It is a very beautiful colonial town, about 180 miles, I think it was northwest of Mexico City. So we flew into Mexico City, spent some time there, which by the way, I was born in Mexico City. Um, saw my family, which my Children have never met because my family in Mexico, they are not able to come to the U.S. And um, my aunts and everybody was crying. But anyways, it's a different story. So, well actually it's kind of the same story. Oops, I have a visitor. 
Hey, this, this is, is my, my mommy, like seven years old. And you might see me in some videos too. You're gonna start vlogging? Yeah. And what are you gonna vlog about? Crazy Lou. Crazy Lou? Yes. So, side story, there's gonna be tons of side story because as I mentioned, this is not some kind of scripted production. My oldest- she's 36 too. Thank you, yes, I'm 36. My oldest son- And she was born in 1977 too. Okay, thanks so much for that. So my oldest son, Chase, in 2008 he did a YouTube video and this is like way early I mean I was blogging at that time but you know I wasn't really thinking about 2014. I wasn't thinking about monetizing and all that good stuff um, especially on YouTube but anyways he did a YouTube video on with his Thomas the tank engine tracks and all this good stuff he used to be <laughs> enamored with Thomas and his friends and um, he set up his room to have some tracks. Yes, I guess are you pushing me along my producer here? It's, it's this room. In this room. And here we are, 2014. Guess how many page views my son has? 477,000 page Pop. views. Right? And, and uh, I might be on a um, oh, YouTube video on this one. Too. So here's this one. So today, because here I am trying to figure out, I finally monetized the video in 2011 when I decided, hey, let me see what's going on with this video. And little did I expect to see that it would have had f over 400,000 page views because we recorded it, uploaded it, and left it alone. Um, today we found out that his video... Cha-ching has made some money, so now all the kids want to do some videos, right? Okay, dinner's okay. almost ready. Head on downstairs because you have to go to Boy Scouts. Yes, Say bye. Bye. And camera do. <laughs> I was born. Keep okay. So, that's my oldest. All right, so that's part of the shenanigans that you're going to see on this show. But what I was saying is I want to travel more with the kids. We went to Mexico. I'm also Haitian. Guess what else I want to do? Do do take the kids to Haiti in 2014. They have never been. Of course, I've been um, as a child, as an adult. I went most recently um, for the first time in over 25 years, 11 days before the 2012 earthquakes. So I went for the December holidays. I'm sorry, not the 2012 earthquake, the 2010 earthquake. So I went December 2009, spent some beautiful time there with my family in Haiti, and then left on January 2nd or 3rd, and then here we are on January 12th, the earthquake. So I'm going to share a video that um, I took six months after I went to Haiti and saw that my aunt's house, which I stayed at, had completely collapsed and it was just very sad. So those are my goals for 2014. I have some more goals. I'll share more. And of course, go to the gym three times a week if possible. Not always possible. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is on my Samsung, I have a step counter. This has really helped me a lot. So this is a really good tip. And I'm just going to show you. You see it right there. Got to figure out how to fix that. But anyways, it counts my steps how many steps I've taken you want to take 10,000 steps a day so far I've only taken 1600 today yikes it's almost six o'clock so that's it this is a wrap for the first just Jonesy show yay uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I have three subscribers goal number whatever for 2014 is to have 500 subscribers in three months. I think I can do it. Let's hope. Chat soon. Bye.